Before we get started, I want to begin with a simple question. What is a Wi-Fi Ranger? A Wi-Fi Ranger is a wireless router. That means that your computers and devices connect securely to this router. It creates a network for all your devices. Now, once your devices are connected to the Wi-Fi Ranger, you need to connect the Wi-Fi Ranger to your various internet sources, whether that's public Wi-Fi, home Wi-Fi, LTE, or a variety of other connections that are possible. So think of your Wi-Fi Ranger as the secure go-between for your network. Now that you understand a little bit more about what the Wi-Fi Ranger does, let's go ahead and get connected. So let's start by going to our list of Wi-Fi networks. And this is on a Mac, so we go to other networks. And we look for the PVT, that stands for private, WFR for Wi-Fi Ranger, and then it'll have the model listed there. Now this is the Spruce router, but your router might be different. Now just look on the label found on your router and it will tell you exactly what the broadcast name is. And it's also going to tell you uh, a four digit ID number at the end. So let's go ahead and click on our router and then we need to type in the password. Now the password is always going to be lowercase change me now and then the last four digits of the ID number. So in this case it's 3016 but of course that will be different for your Wi-Fi Ranger. So again look on the label on your product and you'll see exactly what number it should be. Go ahead and click join. And you can see here it's joining and now it's connected. And now we need to open our internet browser. So this could be Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox, Edge, or a variety of other routers. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go in guest mode for this example. And we're going to go to mywifiranger.com. Mywifiranger.com brings up the control panel. So you can see here on the control panel, we have a list of Wi-Fi networks in the area, and we have a cellular option. So perhaps you want to tether a USB device to your Wi-Fi Ranger, or perhaps it has a built-in LTE modem. So this is where you can control how to connect your LTE connection. And you might need to activate a data plan before you do that if you have a built-in modem. You can also click Auto Connect and that will go through a list of all the Wi-Fi networks in the area or cellular connections, and it'll just try to get you online. This is great if you're in an area with public Wi-Fi or you already have LTE set up. You can also see here that uh, under the Wi-Fi box, you might have multiple options here. Since this is a dual band router in this case, it has a 5.8 gigahertz radio. So we can select that and see the list of networks that are 5.8 gigahertz. So that's just a helpful option there. So keep in mind, you can click on these little drop downs and see what other options you have for connecting. So that is essentially how to get started. And there are more features that you might want to unpack or learn about, but essentially to connect to the Wi-Fi Ranger, you simply power it up wait five minutes, connect to its network using the password change me now in the last four digits, and then you go to mywifiranger.com in your web browser. So I hope this was helpful and we'll see you out there.